people. First, I'd like to thank our sponsors who helped make the event happen. Absolutely could not do it without them. We've got Bosch. They were out in the course giving test rides and hilarity. Apparently, lots of people use it. Black Hearts and Sparrows at Beera Bar at the back. Thank you very much. Woo! Grumpler, awesome. The little guy is back making cool stuff right here in Melbourne. Got Genovese, go see Emilio for some brews over in the coffee there. Got TAC keeping us all safe and the Quadlock team roving around. And actually, uh, if anyone's here from Quadlock, uh, we needed to use the rescue ramps from your vehicle to get the Greek street food truck when it was bogged. Uh, someone, so if you're wondering why they're really dirty, that's why. All right. We'd also like to thank Madman for printing everyone's maps, Goonwash for keeping all our bikes clean, the Good Cycles crew for making the route fun, same with Bicycle Network, my mum who packed every single musette. She's 83, I said, mum, you don't have to. She goes, I know I don't have to, but I can, and I will. And also, Little Fixer helped separating the the manifest and also Andy Van Bergen's kids I've, I've roped them into a bit of child labour as well so it's been a big big event to get all the musettes packed also thanks to everyone who brought food to donate for food bank that's all going to people who really need it and I really appreciate you getting into the spirit of that alright first up <clears throat> someone who gives more time of their disposable time than anyone to this place, this club, and this day, David Morgan. Don't hide on me now. It is David's birthday today. This has only ever happened twice in Roubaix history that it's happened to fall on his birthday, and he's been very gracious. Dave, come up on the stage. Yes, we've got you a cake, and we're all going to sing happy birthday. He can't eat cake. He's had a minor health issue, but it can't stop him, and he's here. Okay, everyone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ian Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy So that's how much I love you, Dave. I'll lick your thumb. <laughs> now, do we get him to open it? Yeah. All right. Happy birthday, Dave. You're a very difficult man to buy for, apparently. But, well, I think the crowd will be the judge of whether I've hit the brief of what you get a man who likes pink. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that old. How do I get him out? Oh, Melody, you could have just... Why did you have to double, triple, triple wrap it? Here it is. Here's the big reveal. The unboxing. The unboxing. It's Lego! How good is Lego? It doesn't matter how old you are. Lego is always cool. Dave, thank you very much. From everyone, the Brunswick Cycling Club and the Whites and the Little Fixos. Oh, by the way, Dave just mentioned that everyone has to help push the Black Hearts and Sparrows van out. It is bogged. And you think we're joking. Not. All right, let's get to the prizes. There's loads in the raffle this year. So who's my chief raffle person pulling them out of the raffle barrel? Little Fixo, do you want to run over there? Number one is from Bosch and Lug and Carry. You get two months free lug and carry subscription, which is amazing. You get a bike, the accessories. It's an awesome deal. If your bike breaks down, they will come and get you. If you have servicing issues, they come to your house. Just pull one out of the barrel. Now you have to be here. That's always good to get a couple. We have the first person is Timothy Haynes. 
Are you here, Timothy? Oh, Tetris Timothy, congratulations. Legend, legendary. I can't wait to see you Tetrisify your lug and carry vehicle. Well done. Next up, we have Black Hearts and Sparrows win your weight in Bira. It's actually five slabs. It's a legal requirement, we can't give away any more. And I'm not joking. All right, we have little Hester. Charlie, thank you very much. Ah, oh, and kid's cute. When does that end? Asking for a mate. Okay, Kevin. Terrible handwriting, Wong. Kevin Wong. Absolutely appalling. You're lucky I could make Yes, that's exactly. Congratulations. What does he win? He wins five slabs of beer. Oh, so you come up on the stage and just wave your arms in the air so Mark can get a photo. The slabs, I think they're waiting over. Uh, You've got to carry them home, by the way. <laughs> All right, he says, that is a man who likes his beer. Congratulations, Kevin. Right, next up we have the Crumpler Custom Bag. Now, it's not that one, Melody. It's the one that's in my van. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll move on. Now, did anyone manage to snag one of the Genovese coffee prizes from the cafes? You have one person in the front here. There's three of them. They are hidden at Crown Stables, at Tussos, and at Mitter. And it looks like... Congratulations. Did you win it? Yes. Ring of power. Well done. <laughs> we are small, but we are mighty. Congratulations. You have won a coffee grinder, a coffee maker, <laughs> coffee, little cups. Your dad is thrilled for you. Congratulations. Well done. Go see Emilio and the crew at Genovese, and they, he's holding it up. He's holding it up. That's one. There's two more. Did anyone find them? Did anyone, no one hit them up? Congratulations, you're the only winner. <laughs> Go and get them. Well done, guys. Thank you so much. And very much thank you to Emilio and the whole squad at Genovese for their support. Let's um, do two raffles for the other prizes. Oh, Melody's saying do we raffle for the other prizes. Is that a good idea? All right, okay. The other winners are a paper plane. We have... Damien Nicoletis. Congratulations, Damien. Well done, dude. You have won more coffee than you can wave a stick at. Let's go see Emilio. And we have one more coffee winner. Thank you to Genovese. No shit. No shit is the, is the answer, apparently. Melody just exclaimed their name. So no shit, please come forward. No, it's not. It's Tim Brooks. Tim Brooks, are you here? Hey. <laughs> well, congratulations, Tim. Team Onsay, classic look. Milwaukee. Thank you. Well done, Tim. Go see the crew at Genovese. You have won an awesome coffee prize pack. Thank you. All right, we have next up from the TAC a $500 commuter cycle gift certificate. I want to rig this one because I want to win it. All right. The winner of the TAC is, thank you little fixo, why are you, unwrap them. This is, geez, they say never work with children and animals. Josie Alexander. You have won $500 to spend at Melbourne's coolest bike shop, Commuter Cycles. Thank you, Josie. Congratulations. That is a happy camper. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. I don't know why I'm holding these. Okay. All right, next up we have the awesome foursome. All right, if you think you're awesome and there's four of you, 
I know there's a lot of celebrities in prison. Maybe you can put your fir- your best four forward. We have Kiss. Come up on the stage, Kiss. All right. What do we think of this awesome foursome? Pretty good. Solid start. Got four celebrities. We've got Paris Hilton, Little Kim, Robert Downey Jr. And Martha, my favourite, Martha Stewart. <laughs> Give him a cheer. Yeah, no one's got a lot of sympathy for the, uh, the Hollywood celebs in prison. All right. I think the next one we have... Darth Vader. Oh, no, Darth Vader died, so the stormtroopers are without their... The hero. What about the unicorns? Unicorns, yeah, absolutely. This is going to be a favourite with little Fixo. This is a very appropriate. If this is your first Roubaix, watch this one. This is very appropriate. Very appropriate garments to wear because you're warm. It is the Uber unicorns. Oh, that was tepid. Never. I like it, but anyway. Congrats. I love the I love the effort. Where were Tetris? Come on, Tetris. <laughs> Tetris. This, this is not their first rodeo, this team. Look at this. Coordination. Choreography. Get up. Get up. Oh, H&S. There should be a, a handrail here. All right. Give them a cheer. What do we think of Tetris? That's going to be very, very difficult to beat. I think there's one more foursome. It's a Netflix. <laughs> Come on, not is it a, not Fixo? What's that? What are they? What are who are they trying to be? <laughs> You're trying to be me, man. There's only one me. I'm ripping off the best ripper offerer. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, team. No, this is not Fixo. Give them a cheer. Well done. Love it. Love it. Do we have any more foursomes who think they can out-cheer Tetris? Let's face it. It's going to be very tall order. I think I Think we have a winner. Not the, the Tetris team, and they've all won 100 bucks to spend a quad lock. Well done. And my mum's jam. How could I forget a jar of my mum's jam? Very good jam. Mum makes all the musettes and makes all of the jam. And if you win it, you must send a report and tell her how good it is. She really appreciates it. Because otherwise I have to hear it. And I have to, I have to ask people. All right. The next one. If Did you anyone get the gold award in their musette? Little Fixo's Gold Award. It's uh, You'll know if you've got it in your musette. <laughs> it, you, the, the prize of Little Fixo's prize is four jars of one kilo of Nutella. It is an obscene. It's like instant diabetes. That's how... That's what you wanted to give away. It looks like we're going to have to draw it from the raffle. Little Fixo, you can pull one for the raffle. No one's got the gold award. No. You'll know. She handcrafted it. It's laminated. It's got all the vibes of a 10-year-old. All right. Do you want to pull? All right. Let's get an answer. Paper plane. Uh, pull it out. Un- un- unpaper plane it. The winner of four jars of Nutella, which is a test of the strength of the Melbourne Roubaix Musette, is... Ev Campos. Ev Campos. Redraw. Okay, go get another one. Oh, hang on. you you got to read it. We've got a little fix. So it's got to read out the prize. Maybe Charlie. <laughs> oh, we've had some uh, managerial issues here. Children and animals. <laughs> the winner of Little Fixo's prize is Rohan Lock. Rowan Lock. Rowan Lock. Rowan Lock, you have won. You did. 
You didn't win as a unicorn, but you've won four obscene kilo tubs of Nutella. There it is there. There it is there. <laughs> yes, it's heavy. Congratulations, I think. Right, now we have the cutest couple. This is from Melody and I. This is uh, 200 bucks red balloon gift certificate. You can spend it however you feel. Cutest couple. Do we have any cute couples? Contenders? All right, quick. These, these guys have reimagined musettes from way back when into garments. That's pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. That's a solid response. Congratulations. All right. Very early contenders. All right, got, uh, well, I'll let you introduce yourselves. We're just a party on a bike. Party on a bike. <laughs> all right, we got some lumberjacks and they're okay. They work all night and they sleep all day. They got scones for tea. Oh, I feel like this is going to be a stage show. Keeping it weird, we've got the Lumberjacks. No, Mum and I can't be a couple. That would be called rigged. This is, you didn't, Apple didn't fall far from the tree on this one. All right, I think we have uh, another couple over here. Okay. Celeste Patterson and Dame Edna, come up. Give him a cheer. Maybe we'll just call you the Barry. Team Barry, cutest couple. <laughs> All right. All right, that's uh, very, very close. Now, you guys have won before, have you not? No? no? Okay, the, now these, uh, these guys have won before. It's Donna Kebab and Phil Laughel. <laughs> Give him a cheer. Oh. That was, yeah. That wasn't the same. They, you, I was expecting more, but no, you've done that. You've been there, done that. The crowd likes to keep it different. All right. He's putting in his bid for Edna. All right. Now this is unfair advantage because they've got an animal. And who doesn't love a, a dog, a good dog? And this is a good, oh yeah. Please introduce yourselves. We're the Knights of Denny Street. Oh yeah, the Knights of Denny Street. The Knights of Denny Street. <laughs> and their dog. Congratulations, you brought a dog, you've won my daughter's heart. I'm going to say, I think it's the uh, I think the two strongest were the Roubaix Musettes and, and the Barry, the Dame Edna. Do you want to come up quick? We'll just do one quick crowd recount. Right, come on on stage together. Right. You're both going to a lot of effort. This is for $200 to spend with Red Balloon from Melody and I. Okay, let's go with... The Musettes, Team Musettes. Very good, and Dame Edna and Celez. Uh, oh, that hurt my ears, sorry guys. But I think we have a winner. Congratulations, Barry. And congratulations also, I just love that. That is a lot of work has gone to all of these costumes. Thank you so much. All right, craziest contraption. I think there's clear winner. Who, I think, uh, it was a Kia? The tall bike? The tallest bike rider. If there's another, if you think you've got a crazier contraption than that tall, tall bike. Congratulations, and life is too short to ride short bikes. Well done, you have won my heart and a fire keg and some mum's jam and uh, 
I'm glad you got around the course without dying. No hanging bunting next year. Let's get rid of it. Uh, apparently the bunting was too low. And I think Montague Street Bridge was also too low. All right, this is what you've all came for. This is the winner of Melbourne Rebay. Oh, the crumble bag. Oh, how could I forget? All right. You've been saying it, so she wants it. Someone wants to win the crumpler bag. And I'm, I'm not surprised because it's super rad. We've had an amazing response to these bags. The winner of the crumpler bag sewn right here. Smith Street Fitzroy by the crew and hand pressed in the Plenty Gorge by myself is Jason Fraser. Every, no one wants to cheer the person that doesn't win. Jason Fraser, I'm going to give you 1.23 seconds. It's an uh, redraw. Okay, okay. Everyone's happy to redraw. That's Jason Fraser. Bolts out of nowhere. Come on, Charlie. You're doing a great job. Oh, I think I know who this is. I think they've got Stormtrooper 3 at the end. Alex Taylor, congratulations. You have won. Pull it out, Melody. Pull it out. Show the man. He's a giant. Congratulations, Alex. Come up. Look, look more thrilled. Jesus. Tough crowd. Well done, mate. Congratulations, Jim. Get a bag for your bag. All right. Oh, yeah, we also have, thanks to Goonwash and Ruben, got some Goonwash gift packs, which has got all the, the Goonwash fluids and brushes to look after your bike. Just one little fixo. Just one. Well, oh, there's three of them to give away. I might want to give one away post event. I might want to keep one. Just kidding. Okay, the winner is Simon Wiley. Simon Wiley? Is that am I am I saying that? Or oh, Wile? Or oh, Willie? Wile. Simon Wile. Congratulations, Simon. You're gonna have the cleanest bike on the block. You don't get three, you just get one. Okay, next one. O open it up. Next year, we're going to have to practice this. Dermot Avon. He's even got his phone number. He's real keen. Dermot Avon. I feel like calling him. John Howlett. John Howlett. John Howlett. Okay. We have... Oh, someone's coming, apparently. John Howlett. John Howlett. Make yourself known. Congratulations, you've won a Goon Box pack. Thank you, Goon Wash. Thank you, John. And the last one is Daryl Susigan. Daryl Susigan. Hey! Am I saying that correctly? Have I made an absolute bollocks of it? Close enough. That means... I stuffed it up royally. All right. Yes, also, would like to give... I don't know, I'm going to hold on this one. All right. Uh, yeah, that's someone. All right. The grand prize is... that That's my Melbourne Roubaix Encouragement Award. So hopefully one day I'll do a good job of this event. That's from also from Andy Van Bergen. Also, Andy Van Bergen handcrafted this year's trophy. So not only do you get not the cheapest, but an intermediate level bottle of champagne, which you're probably going to spray the front row with. Jar of jam, thousand bucks. Like apples, Granny Smiths, it's all in there. You get the prestige of being a winner of Melbourne Roubaix. There's only been 16 of them. Mike Macker is here. He is the very first. 
when it was a bona fide race. But because uh, I like to create a bit of drama this year, speaking of races, the th we're going to pull three out and then we're going to have a race. So, where are the three bikes? Okay, well, let's bring the three bikes to the front of the stage. Right. All right. Okay, let, well, we're going to find out who's going to be in the race first. Rebecca, can you please open these up so I can just read them? Star of the show. Sorry, I felt formal. Beck. Oh. Elise. Just one name, Elise. Is Elise here? Next. Man, I wanted more drama. Matt Clark. Matt Clark, tandem. We're just going to get a heap. Just get a heap out. I'm going to keep reading names till three people turn up. Who are you? All right, Matt Clark, Roger Paul. I recognise that name. Is he here? Roger Paul. Get yeah. All right, we got two. One more. Thank you, Charlie. All right, and Ned. Can you? What am I? What am I reading? Ned. Ned. Yoda. Is Yoda here? Natasha Grante. One more. Sam Sweeney. Now you all have to wear helmets because Dave is very safety. He's a commissaire. Well, this is going to be a bona fide race. Where's your helmet? Can, I can't be seen to endorse riding without a helmet. Here we got Just pull on a helmet. Sam Sweeney. Hello, are you Sam? Congratulations, Sam. Now, I think one of these has got a flat tire. That's just all part of the randomness. All right, Sam. Okay, here we have the three riders. Sam, you just need a helmet. Sure, just throw a helmet on. Any old helmet. Any Australian standard certified helmet. There we go. All right. Melody's saying, where do they start? Well, they start on the start line. Someone's going to die. All right. More seat post. More seat post. <laughs> or actually, start in the back straight. Start in the sunlight, back straight, and it's, and first, first across the finish line. So it's half a lap. Half a lap. Dave Morgan, we need a commissaire. To, to, to adjudicate. If everyone gets to the finish line, get to ready to cheer them on. This is for a thousand dollars and eternal glory. Is that cheating, little fix? No, that's just being cool. Congratulations. Hold it up. You are 
the winner of Melbourne Roubaix 2023. And I'd just like to say, thank you, son. Out in just in time. Congratulations. You've won a thousand buckaroos. Oh, okay. Now we've got to spray the champagne. Got to be a hero. Don't pop yourself in the pie. Oh, yeah, he's done it before. Oh, you. Congratulations. Now there is a pro. Take your mic. I can't even give it away. Well done, man. And uh, also, Sam, come forward. We've got a prize for you. Yeah, I've got your Spirit core. of Roubaix. Thank you, everyone. You've been awesome. Hope to see you next year. Have a safe ride home. Send me a message. Make sure you got home safe. I answer every single one of them. <laughs> Sam, congratulations. You've won the Spirit of Roubaix. Well done, Sam. Thank you. Thank you.